so I've been practicing my hand drawn nail art and I decided to do one stroke and practice that as well using my pigments um, these particular pigments I bought off of Amazon they were in much larger bottles but I transferred some into these so I could save some space in my actual nail area and I'm going to use these three colors of the acrylic paint I'm also going to use this Venalisa Pure Color Gel. I'm going to use these two Chai Tea Latte and Pumpkin Spice from iGel Beauty, and there's pretty much no difference. Um, <laughs> they look exactly the same until you see them on the nails. So to make my life easier, I'm transferring this over to a single nail holder i'm gonna buff that up and take away the shine um, mind you these have already been top coated so i'm going to use my skinny medium detail brush um i named it weird easier for me and yes i did label them as well as my one stroke brush so i'm gonna lay down some white and some of that maroon color I'm going to get my detail bot brush and start mixing the colors. Um, I'm not a pro at this. This is like my third time actually trying it and I'm doing it with you guys. So um, my brush was still too wet. So I went through and dried it a little bit and then I'm adding some more white and maroon and then I'm going to get started. Um, these did not turn out as beautiful as I wanted them to, but I still think I did a great job. So I'm going to start off and just massage that into a point-ish and then find my way back down. <laughs> and of course, like I say, I'm not a pro, so... Um, this is literally me practicing with you guys, so I would really appreciate it if you guys tell me if I should even continue with this. I probably am anyways, because I do love the way one stroke looks. Um, it does add some great detail and beautification to the nails. Um, and some character. So, even though they're not perfect, I'm going to go ahead and continue as I do move along, they do tend to get a little bit better. And again, we're just going to continue on with this, add our leaves, um, and just keep going.
green paint here um, and basically go through and do the exact same thing but adding in some leaves. Take my skinny medium detail brush <laughs> um probably not what it's actually named but i am going to kind of dilute the particular colors that i've been using just so i can add some minor edging and just a little detail work um to kind of make it look a little more realistic because i didn't do a fantastic job on the actual one stroke. As you can see I'm adding just a little more white and lighter colors just to add some detail work um, you know just add a little bit of detail because I, I, I am really trying um, to get this right um, I might not have the best products or the right brushes at the current moment but um, practice makes perfect so that's literally all I'm doing here and once I add those details and I feel fairly secure in the way they look, even though they're not perfect, I am going to go ahead and add some more detail within the flower.
much of white here in the center, but I'm going to leave it be. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this time to let that dry and kind of clean up my work area so we can move forward on the next one. And even after that, I can still see some shine there in the middle because the blob is just so big. So I'm just going to take one of these little napkins and I'm going to kind of try and dab that out uh, to kind of dry it quicker. And it did remove some of it, but I actually like the way it came out. So, of course, what we're going to do now is top coat. Um, once we're done top coating, um, I'm going to let that cure for 60 seconds. I do want to add a thick enough top coat so I can buff this out as well because I do want to go in and do some, do a design on top of this one stroke. Um, and then we're going to use some chrome powder as well. So again, I'm just going to top coat this, put a nice thick layer, pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds. Of course, I had to drop it. Um, and then we're going to buff it up and move on to the design with the chrome powder. So, of course, we're going to take our Venalisa painting gels, and now I'm going to go through and I'm going to add the number two. I am a mother of two beautiful, amazing, wonderful children, and because this is a Mother's Day set, um, I decided to make it about me. It's not about anybody personal. Mother's Day is amazing to us, but I've never seen a Mother's Day set look like this or really any really Mother's Day sets in general, except for flowers and pink maybe. So I'm going to add the number two. I'm going to go ahead and add a heart over the flower, um, add a few lines here and there, and then I'm going to pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds, and we're going to rub that chrome powder into our inhibition layer and top coat. Absolutely love the way that looks. It came out just as planned. 
Um, you can tell on one little corner where I didn't buff it up well enough, so the chrome powder actually stuck um, up at top there, but it's fine. Little character, you know? So I'm going to top coat that, and then we are going to move on to the last nail in this particular set. tie all of these in but I didn't want to do any more one stroke um, so I decided that it's all going to be letters kind of like a filigree I'm not good at that stuff whatever it's called but I'm going to try it anyway so first thing I'm going to do is the word of um, this is going to be the middle nail in our series um, and I'm just going to make sure I get that exactly how I want it. And then I'm going to move on to the heart because I do want another heart. So it all ties in. Um, and on this one, I decided to go ahead and use pigments. So, um, yeah, I'm actually kind of excited. I really do love the way these turned out, but, um, Again, I'm just going to go through with my painting gel, do all the little designs that I want, and then I'll step back in for explanation of my pigments. So I do love the way that turned out. Um, now I kind of want to choose colors that are going to tie in with the one stroke. Um, and these are all my pigment colors. So I think eight and nine do a fantastic job of that. And also decided that seven does a great job as well. So we're going to go ahead and rope those in in my particular order and check out the finished results.
y'all. So I love it. I really do. I am very proud of myself. Um, once you see, I'm an, I top coat this, another thick layer. I'm not adding anything to it. It's going to be just as is. Um, and of course, I, I want it thick. Kind of give it that smooth look. And we're going to check out what it looks like. And you guys got to be honest and tell me the truth. Because I feel like this set is actually beautiful and gorgeous for Mother's Day. Completely different um, than the norm. Um, but this is what they look like. What do you think? So I'm really loving the mom of two. Um, I think they came out amazing. The hearts, the lettering, the number two, maybe I should have spelt it out, but either way, um, I hope you all love these mother's, mother's day nails. Um, maybe I'll see y'all rocking them on your Instagrams, but, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See y'all in the next one.